Hi guys, I'm Tony Leonard. Welcome back for part two uh, of this video series. And uh, I'm really excited to show you guys uh, sort of the continuation of this project and how it's sculpting up. So I added a few more bits of uh, me sculpting this small uh, hard surface, uh, sort of like a mech pod or, or a drone. And it's got sort of like an insect uh, like body and what I'm doing is going through and just finishing up the sculpt, adding a few more landmarks, and sort of along the same analogy that I established in, in the first video, where I'm using the Damien standard technically as, as sort of a uh, a pencil, and literally, of course, this is drawing uh, much like I would probably on paper, uh, except I, I already have like a, a, a silhouette that has much more. Uh, in the way of options um, to go with and as I add details uh, there's a mixed bag of things uh, so in other words uh, the Damien standard tool I'm making a lot of impressions into the clay and uh, not really using any lazy mouse settings or anything like that just straight sketching uh, with a freehand Damien uh, standard brush and along some of the geometric shapes you'll probably notice that um, like here where I'll go along uh, a shape and use that Damien standard with the alt key which actually instead of making an impression in, into the mesh it actually goes in the reverse it goes outward and that way I can sort of build up uh, geometrical shapes on the along the surface of the Dynamesh and then uh, fill that outlined plateau with uh, clay so I'll, I'll use some something either like the clay brush or like the clay buildup uh, and actually you know, on a more technical note I'll take the clay buildup and actually go into the modifier on ZBrush and maybe add a little bit of smoothness. Uh, this is a brush that I use sometimes um, when I'm using uh, clay buildup for either organic stuff but also for hard surface because it, it, the, the alpha attach can, can be a bit abrupt and so smoothing it out uh, has a, a very nice sort of transitional fill uh, like you would have almost with the the regular clay brush but anyway uh, so I just continue making uh, certain you know geometrical landmarks pushing and pulling shapes uh, right up until I, I be start to become sort of satisfied with the shape and you know this is just a regular thumbnailing process so uh, it's very quick to do and with Dynamesh, of course, you know, if I was still uh, finding shapes for the most part, I could always re-Dynamesh. And re-Dynameshing actually sort of uh, will at times mute out some of the details. But I can take that and just, you know, again, with the Damien Standard or Standard Brush, uh, basic sculpting brushes, um, also uh, Trim Dynamic, uh, S-Polish and H-Polish. A lot of those standard brushes um, I use a lot. Uh, to, to really do a lot of uh, form building and shape play. So anyway, continuing on, I'm adding a few details to the back. And basically when I add the uh, sort of ink or you know uh, line art shader to this, it, it's gonna pick up a lot of, I mean, I, depending on, on probably how far you set your cavity detection, uh, some details will probably maybe disappear because you know line art, uh, and versus the like say the direction of light um, it may uh, taper off or make some of the line uh, disappear but I have enough information already uh, in the sculpt uh, to probably start generating some some line art so I'm gonna go ahead and finish out a few details and probably throughout this you'll notice also um, as the clips change I change matte caps uh, materials and this is not for any particular reason it's just me being able to see the mesh and or mesh details a little bit uh, easier uh, than not and so uh, I might use a few uh, Dam you know like the Damien standard plus a few alphas more uh, just creating some surface noise uh, little minute details and then when I'm comfortable with that, I, I change the material just to see how far some of those details pop. And uh, a lot of that will, again, translate into our line art. So uh, coming up next in the next video, uh, do stay tuned. I'm going to start uh, hooking up our 
our matte cap and or our shader uh, so that we can put some line on this and get it into Photoshop and I will be going over how to clean up the line art and uh, use it towards something like a, an actual inked, you know, almost freehand, almost indistinguishable for my freehand drawing. Alrighty guys, stay tuned.